So I was super excited when Ignition GT said to me, for this week's review, I get to wear a helmet. This isn't quite what I had in mind. But the channel is not all about the need for speed. Today we're reviewing Suzuki's new Super Carry. And let me tell you, this car, it sells itself. Japanese reliability. Widest load box in its class. Load capacity of 750 kgs. Low running cost, super fuel efficient. You thought I was joking about that widest load capability. Have a look at this. It's actually quite impressive because it's got nice little drop down back, very, very low, making it really easy to load stuff in. And have a look inside. You can fit a pallet this way or this way. You can stack plenty in here. It takes a lot of boxes, like a lot of boxes. I'm not even joking. Check it out. I love loading boxes. This car's impressive. It's quite a load. The Super Carry was first launched in Japan in 1961, but this is the first time a Suzuki light commercial vehicle is available here in South Africa. Not only that, but the all new 11th generation model also made its world debut here in South Africa. Nowhere is the Super Carry's bare bones workhorse character more evident than inside the cabin. There's no aircon, no radio, and uh, don't even ask about airbags. And obviously, looking at the market that you're targeting small business owners, for them, price is, is everything. You guys have done a cracker job keeping this under that 130,000 mark. Amazing. Yes, Maurice, that is what we did. Um, we had to look at the, the, the price of the vehicle to our customers, and these are customers that are quite price sensitive, um, not only looking at the retail price of 129900 but also what that vehicle will cost them on a month-to-month -month basis. And looking at the low fuel consumption of an average of 6 litres per 100, that's just over 16 kilometres per litre. It's insane. Um, with a little 1.2 litre engine. Are we talking loaded weight here? Because I know 750 kg as a load, uh, 1.2 is about 54 kilowatts, um, 101 newton meters doesn't sound like much, but then the car doesn't weigh much. The Super Carry's curb weight is 850 kilograms, so That's in nice. essence it can almost carry itself. Yeah. So you don't need more than a 1.2 litre engine, and that 54 kilowatts is really more than enough to carry the weight of the car, the weight of the passengers, and obviously the, the load capacity. A concern for me, I mean, we're on five lane wide highways, there's a concern therefore for me is this under load going to be able to to get you going but i know you guys have gone and done that challenge now where you did 750 k's on 750 rands worth of fuel driving with that load of 750 kgs over that distance what sort of average speed were you guys getting um well when we looked at the gps it said 79 kilometers per hour including our stops which is okay. our, our running average well that's not bad and that's that's up up and down on the motorway yes definitely and that's the reason why we did that is because we were the first country to launch this particular model of the super carry mm -hmm. um there were no real real world tests and that's what we had to do and obviously drove here from um, johannesburg to to port chepston and that really gave us the the first experience of the super carry on that type of scenario Now the Super Carry is focusing on small business owners. Now imagine if your car runs into a problem, it could cripple your business. So parts availability is critical. We've got uh, Rob from uh, Suzuki Parts to tell, talk to us about stock availability. Now you bring a car like this into the country, yeah. How much stock do you keep available in SA and what would we need to order if the car ran into problems? Well, Marius, uh, we have uh, two and a half thousand square meter warehouse in here. We have uh, seven months stock that is around about 46 million worth of stock. On the Super Carry alone, we carry about 80% of uh, fast moving items. So we've basically set up our initial parts ordering around about our existing uh, model range. So we've, we have a fairly good idea of what we sell initially. So we have uh, a couple of years experience. So all the parts for Suzuki and South Africa are kept here at this warehouse. What sort of turnaround time are we looking at in terms of getting parts to your dealers? We do not have a uh, stocking requirement for the dealers. They only have to uh, carry service items which should be readily available from the dealers. But we do have a 24 hour turnaround time. We do have a, a reliable uh, distribution company in the source of uh, UTI. Uh, they do uh, daily collections from this warehouse and distribute uh, countrywide. Suzuki Super Carry is like motoring in the 50s, super basic and simple. But what more do you need for an entry level workhorse? A few things I'd like to see changed. They could have made this arch a lot lower so you don't see the shock. The car doesn't look like it's sitting on stilts. And living in South Africa, this battery, <laughs> gone in 60 seconds. 
that is how quick it is. But you can put a padlock on here, and Suzuki said there are plans to actually cover and hide the whole thing. What is key when considering a super carry is that this isn't meant to be carrying your load from Johannesburg all the way down to Cape Town. This vehicle is designed for a person with a business running around in the city. I do still have concerns about a 1.2 litre engine on a five lane highway with 750 kgs of load. So if you're living in an in urban area and running around in the cities, this is going to work exceptionally well for you. And with the load capacity that it's got, it can wear many hats.